Hi everyone, this is our second episode for how to count music. So this is me talking English overlay this Chinese language video. So let's start. So what is an n count? So that's count one and count two. And in between, I'm gonna have one more count in between. So imagine cutting a cake equally into half. Now I can have three movements instead of two. Let's see this example. So one, two. Then you you have quite a little bit of a one and two. So two. So now you have three movements when you add the end count in. So sometimes your tempo, music beats per minute, is very slow. So you can add that end count in between to increase intensity. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, and eight. Just so here you use the end count to increase the movements and hence increase the fitness intensity. Now sometimes it can also use to add a few stylish movements for dance dancer they do that of course mm -hmm. so there are 16 counts in this introduction for this music. So let's say I find the tempo too slow and I want to increase fitness intensity in this planning and I want to increase the steps, double the effort to 32 counts. So here I simply count faster, double the speed and Hence, I have a 32 steps instead of 16 steps. Now, another way is to count and count. So here I counted 16, but there are also 32 steps. So let's revise and also learn what is 1E e and a uh, 2. So basic is 1, 2, 3. Four. Then we add the N count. N count means like in the middle between one and two. So you have a rectangular cake and you must cut the cake equally or people will complain you. So that means you have to learn to count on a steady pace, same tempo as the song. And that means you will have to practice. Now let's listen to the next song. Okay. So after the singing super clap, you could hear the clappings are at N counts and N4. So let's slow the music down to 50%. So when I choreographed this song for fitness, I did follow the N4. The claps claps at the back. But then I do hear some clappings at 3 and 4 instead. So check yourself. It should be N4 clap claps. Now let's talk about 1E and uh, in aerobics planning. I hardly use this though. This is more common in dancing. So it's like um 1E e and uh, 2E e and uh, imagine one piece of rectangular cake and it's cut equally into four pieces quarterly. So before count two, there are four equal pieces of cake. Again, you want to cut it evenly so there will be no customers complaints. And that translates to you counting in a steady pace which can be very challenging for this 1E and a 2E and a, your 1 and 2 must hit on the bass or the actual count. So the music could be boom, 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 boom. And it's easier to count in fours. You can count up to eight, of course, but because seven has two sounds, so easier to count in four. Now the other styles, it depends on the music creativity or the dance choreography's planning. So you have 
one and a two and a three and a four. So I drag my one, two, three, four to make up for that silent E timing. And then the next one is one E and a two E and a three E and a... Oh, I can... Because that E drag again is... Remember, there's a N count there. Instead of dragging, you can also one E, a two. That means a slight pause there. So the dance move can be one E, that E, they drag a bit. Or they could pause and then move on to the a uh, two. Now the next one is you step on count one, count two, and then you move a three, a four. Next, our instructor Kelvin will demonstrate sailor steps. Sailor step, you have one, a two, three, a four, five, a six, seven, a eight. 好，现在我们用这个声音来学算拍子。你把这个声音当成是那个低音音乐的低音来算。Okay, we're gonna count music with this metronome, and you're gonna treat this sound as the bass. 你要知道自己算对算错的话，一跟二要在那个声音，准准要中那个 boom boom 的声音。然后其他的要平均在一跟二的之间。To know if you count correctly or not, your one and two must hit directly at the beating sound. Boom, boom, and then in between it must be evenly spaced. Ready? Can count as one and a two and a three and a four, one and a two and a three and a four, one e a two e a three e a four e a. Or then of course you can mix them. One two and a three and a four, one two a three a four. So how to count when you can't hear the drum bass at a certain part? So first you have to count out loud. You can count out loud or you can count silently. And the trick is to be consistent in your counting beats, just like before. And you also want to listen really hard for other instruments to guide you. For example, the breathing in sound or of course the lyrics may help. So do you know when singing, you breathe into your mouth and then you just start singing? Well, for exercise, it's the opposite. You breathe into your nose and out through your mouth. So let's revise. Step one, you got to count consistently like before. That takes practice though. And then for this song, you can hear the breathing in and then singing nine. The word nine is your first count. Then as mentioned before, you want to listen to other musical instruments. You don't have to identify exactly what the instrument is, but you just want to know the sound. So okay, thank you for watching this. So join our K-pop X Fitness Instructors course, the renewer 
comes with free videos too. kickboxing instructors course. Uh, we will videos. See you 